G'day everyone, Matt Elder here, and today we're going to ask, is QFast at Legoland Dubai, Motion Gate, or Fast Track at IMG World of Adventure worth the money? No. Thanks for watching this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Just kidding. In all seriousness, there simply isn't enough people going to Legoland Dubai, Motion Gate, or IMG Worlds of Adventures to actually have long queues in the first place. The footage shown here was taken in the holidays in October 2019, and as you can see, there aren't many people around at all. I think you'll find if you'd purchased this queue jumping system, you'd actually be quite annoyed to get in and discover there are virtually no queues to begin with. In some instances, the queue fast lines are actually closed. Clips here show some shots where the queue times are 5 minutes, which I think is the lowest because I can't say a queue has a zero wait time. You could say that these are selective edits, but these have actually been taken when they've been seen. Even on a popular ride like the Lego Boats, which usually has a 45 plus minute queue in Legoland Windsor, UK, it is about 5 minute wait here in Legoland Dubai. Motion gate is much the same, and you probably spend more time walking through the lines than actually waiting in them. IMG Worlds of Adventure was much the same. Here is a board showing the wait times. Haunted House was the only one with a real wait. Most are showing 5 minutes wait. The ones that show 30 minutes are usually shows that start every 30 minutes, so not an accurate wait time display. This was during school holidays. While it's great to virtually walk straight onto rides, you do wonder how the parks survive. Reading through some numbers, Legoland Dubai seems to only average about 2,000 visitors a day. To put this into context, a regional theme park in the USA averages about 10,000 visitors a day. That's a regional theme park. That isn't a Disneyland or a major park. Reading through TripAdvisor reviews at peak times, the comments are that the parks are quiet. International guests make up a tiny percentage of the market. Emirates Airlines is meant to be advertising to international guests, but an analysis of their advertising seems to indicate they haven't really been doing this. On the Emirates flight back, Legoland gets a verbal mention in the same breath as IMG. While IMG has a logo on screen, Legoland does not. So in the short term, take advantage of the short queue times while they exist. The biggest challenge is the heat. In the cooler months it gets up to 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit. In the warmer months you're looking at 45 Celsius or higher or well over 110 Fahrenheit. Not sure if or when the park visitor numbers pick up, I'd want to be standing in that sort of heat with little kids for a 45 minute queue. That almost sounds like a nightmare. Check out our other video for other hints and tips while visiting the park. But if you think all of this sounds too good to be true, I'd suggest to go to the park and if it looks busy, go back to the main entrance point and purchase the QFAST or equivalent queue jumping system tickets. Check out our other video on the queue jumping system in Legoland Windsor UK called QBOT here. You'll be able to see the comparison and how expensive and complicated it can get when it gets busy. If you found this useful, please hit the like button or even consider subscribing and sharing as it helps us out producing more videos like these. Here are some other videos you might be interested in. That brings us to a close, so happy building till next time when we talk about all things LEGO.